Hey guys, Trainer Paul here. So today I'm going to be talking about harachis, which are basically sandals that are made specifically for running, but also for anything outdoors that you do, uh, like hiking. So uh, before I get into looking at all the specific models I've got laid out over here, a little tidbit on kind of why you'd even want to look at this in the first place. Um, for someone like me who's been wearing Vibram Five Finger shoes almost exclusively for something around eight years, as much as I love them and they, as barefoot as they feel, um, and I'm not gonna get into all the mechanics of it today, I've got other vlogs and videos for that, um, but as great as those shoes are, the one downside, and any of you who have Vibrams like, will know all about this, since your feet can't breathe very well, they can get kind of gross. Um, I mean, they even have a name for it, the, the five finger funk. Um, so that being said, with these sandals having your, your feet more open, um, you're not going to have that issue, but you'll still get, on the good ones at least, you'll still get the same feel otherwise just with a more open shoe version. So now we're going to uh, jump straight in. So the first pair we're going to look at here is from a company called Zero Shoes, and that's Zero with an X. Um, you may recognize the name. They were on Shark Tank a while back with their DIY sandals. These are not DIY, though. These, are, these come ready to go. So this is the Murray Cloud model. So first off, what I did like about these, they are very thin. You get great barefoot feel to these. I um, mean, you can roll this up, stick in your pocket if for some reason you wanted to. Um, so you have good ground feel. They're great as a casual shoe. Uh, the one downside is if you're running in these, they're so floppy that the front here can flip under um, pretty easily, especially if you're running fast and there's more wind resistance or if you're running through grass and has anything to catch on. So that to me is a deal breaker for doing any sig significant amount of running in these. But if you just want something for casual use to replace your flip flops, and you should have something to replace your flip flops because they're terrible for your feet. Um, for that, these are a good option. And as a side note, pretty much everywhere that I wore these, um, I get compliments. Everybody who sees them love these. They look more unique than all the other ones that just look like regular sandals. So if you want something more low key that's not gonna stand out, these may not be your best option. Um, but if you like the style of these, then the Zero Shoes of Murray Cloud is a decent casual shoe. So next, we're going to, uh, these are from Shama Sandals. They are called the Mountain Goat. Um, so this is one of their two most popular um, models that they make. I will say the reason that I went, that I tried these out is because I loved their other ones so much. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have tried something as thick as these, and I probably should have gone with my gut on that. These, these are 12 millimeters thick, which basically felt like a brick on my feet. Like I said, I'm used to wearing Vibrams, so um, I don't wear normal shoes pretty much at all. So 12 millimeters for a regular shoe wouldn't be bad, but for a minimalist shoe, it's way, way too thick in my opinion. Um, you get next to zero ground feel in these. You do get a lot of protection, but they don't move super well with your foot either. Um, so yeah, I just, I'll get straight to the point. I didn't like them. Um, third, so these are from a company called Luna Sandals, and these are the Venado. This is an, a model that's made primarily for casual and road running, not so much for trail running because there's next to zero tread on these. Um, and I will say, I did a lot of road running in these. I did like running in them. Um, they, they work pretty well. The one thing I'll say as far as the tread goes, it's not an issue on roads, wet or dry, um, but if you even have to just go on grass for a short time, like grass that's say a little bit wet, a little bit of a slope, these are really slippery. Um, it wasn't much of an issue. I don't encounter a lot of things like that with road running, but I think it's worth mentioning. Um, so these are another um, great option for if you want something for casual use just to uh, replace your flip-flops and for, for basic road running. One other small thing about these is Luna sandals come with two options. That not all of them have these, but some of them have both options. So this is the lifestyle lacing, um, which basically means that there is a little bit of elasticity to the heel. So for casual use, it's great to be able to slide these on and off a lot quicker. Um, and for road running, I noticed no issue there. But if you are going to be getting any of their sandals and using them for trails, absolutely get the performance laces that don't have the, the uh, elastic heel uh, because these are going to shift way too much on your feet for doing something like hiking or trails. Um, so now we're going to get into my two favorites here. So first, 
We'll go back to Shama Sandals. We're gonna look at, this is their Warrior. This is their thinnest option. Um, it has a very aggressive tread pattern, so it's great for hiking and trails. It'll grip pretty much anything. Um, and they're really, really thin, as you can see. There's only about two and a half millimeters, two and a half to three millimeters of sole thickness between the treads. Um, it's five or six millimeters if you include the treads, but they have a really, really good ground feel because they're so thin. They're super flexible like the Murray Cloud, so you can roll it right up. It'll move with your foot no matter what direction your foot goes, but these can form to your foot so well that even as thin as they are, there is no risk of this folding under your toes. I never had that happen, um, especially once it conforms to your feet over the first few runs you do. Um, that'll be even less of an issue. These are gonna shape right up to your foot. Um, one thing to consider is both for Luna and for um, the Shama sandals, they come with two different sole options. They both have a leather option and then a just a grippier option. So with the leather like these, it looks great, it feels really, really good on your feet, but if they get wet, it turns into a slip and slide. Um, I will say like there were times that it, it didn't even feel safe to me. So if you're, say you're on a trail, if you just like have to step through a stream and then get out, it's gonna be really slippery for just a few steps, but it'll go away surprisingly quick. Um, but if on the other hand, like on another run that I had, I, I, it wasn't raining anymore, but just running on grass, since the grass was so saturated with water, every step enough water seeped onto these that I felt very, very um, unstable in these. And again, did not feel safe. Um, but for just like foot sweating and even like light rain, if you're not like stepping on, um, on grass, they're not gonna slip there. So it's only for um, specific instances, but if it does get wet, it's, um, yeah, it's really slick. But uh, that being said, I would in general recommend um, the grippier option. May not look quite as cool as the leather, but it's gonna work a little better. And these will feel um, as minimal as it gets for any of these shoes. So if you want the closest to barefoot you can get, and especially if you're experienced with barefoot footwear, um, these aren't necessarily the best beginner option because if you go running on a trail and you hit a rock, if you're not used to running really lightly, then you could easily get a bone bruise on your foot. Um, so that's the Shama Warrior. My other favorite that would be a little bit more beginner friendly, it's got a little bit thicker sole, but you still get good ground feel. This is the Luna Leadville Pacer. Not to be confused with the Luna Leadville Trail, which is a thicker version of this. So the Leadville Pacer, um, this one right here has the exact same um, tread as the Warrior does. So it's really, really grippy, um, works great for trails. And the sole is about nine millimeters thick, but if you take out the tread, it's probably closer to seven millimeters. Um, but you, and you still get really good ground feel in these. Definitely nowhere near what you get in the Warriors, but it's enough to be able to land softly and to be able to feel what you're doing, but with enough protection that if you are running on a rockier trail, and especially if you're trying to run fast, even if you, are good at running light, there's a certain point where if you want to be able to run fast and you're going over rocky areas, a little bit of protection is nice. Um, so these felt really good for trail running, which was my intended purpose of these, but I found that I actually love the way these feel on road running too. There's nothing that I didn't like doing in these. So these are a great all around option. And again, I got the, the MGT or monkey grip technology is what they call it, the stickier footbed option. Uh, so you can use these in any circumstances. And even though there's no cushion per se on the, the sole, there is a little bit more give to these than some of the others to where it just, it feels good even if you're on concrete um, to not be quite as hard of a sole as some of the others. Um, so to, to recap, the, the Shama Warrior and the Luna Leadville Pacer are both fantastic options. You really can't go wrong. It just depends on how minimal you wanna go and how intensive like trails and things like that you're gonna do. So those are my two recommendations. And again, I'm Trainer Paul. Thanks for watching.